Hey, yet another video on Terraform. In this video, we are going with Google Cloud Platform that is GCP and we are going to learn how we can authenticate from Terraform to GCP and we will be deploying simple resource in GCP. By saying that, let's get started. I have written a code. Oh, before going to code, let's create service account for authentication. So I have my Google account ready. Let me go to IAM. Where is IAM? Yeah, go to IAM from left side menu, go to service accounts, click on create service account, provide name, okay, description you can skip, create and continue. You can choose a role now or you can do it later also. So let me choose it now. I'll click on basic, editor will be a good role to go with, click on continue, click on done. Account or service account is ready for authentication, I need few more things. Let me check the permission if it is okay. Yeah, it has editor role. Let me click on keys. Keys means one file will be downloaded to your local computer. Let me click on create new key. JSON will be fine with me. Click on create. One file will be downloaded. Yeah, let me go to downloads folder. Yes, let me rename with something logical which is thus learning. Let me cut it and paste it in some, some folder. It can be anywhere, doesn't matter. So by default, if you create a service account and if you provide permission doesn't mean it is activated by default. You have to do one more step for that. You will need G cloud. There are other ways also G cloud will be the best way to activate that service account with that key which you have downloaded. I do not have G cloud installed on my local machine. What I can do is I can click on this cloud shell button on top right and I can fire up one command which is I'll just put this command in the video description do not worry gcloud that is auth activate service account your account id service account id which project oh before that where do you get the project id on top you will be seeing one project will be selected by default once you sign up with gcp the id will be at the right side so i have created one new project and the id is somnath project it will be different for your case just copy that ID from here and of course you need the path. My command is ready. Before that I need to upload that file to cloud shell because I need that key file. So go to this three dot button, click on upload, choose file upload. Now I'm selecting the JSON file to be uploaded. Click on upload. Now that is uploaded. Let me check. Yes. So I need to fire up this command. Let me copy paste in cloud shell, hit enter. Now the service account is activated. Let us jump to the console and check if any resource is present or not. I will be creating one compute engine and one storage bucket. So let me go to compute engine. Everything should be empty there. Yeah, nothing is there. Let me now move to the code. Code is very simple. If you have seen my first video introduction to Terraform, you have already learned about providers, resources and many other topics. In this case, instead of Azure, our provider will be Google. I have given my project ID. You can copy your project ID. Region and zone are optional. Next, I'm creating one resource, which is Google Compute Instance. That is your virtual machine. VM is your identifier for this Terraform code. Now name, machine type, boot disk. I'm using one Debian image. Once you sign up with GCP and you create a project, there will be one default network for each project. You can delete it or you can use it for your hands-on purpose, doesn't matter. Then I'm creating one resource which is Google storage bucket and I'm giving one unique name. It has to be globally unique and any location. As you see, this location and my project location, whichever metadata I have provided is completely different. So this is how you can define your values and everything. Let me open my terminal window, put Terraform in it as usual because this is my new provider, which is Google. It is successfully initialized. Next thing, what I'll do is Terraform plan. And of course it will give an error because I have not provided any authentication mechanism for Terraform. As you see, this is giving an error. What you can do, there are two ways. If you are using command prompt, you can use something as setx. This is your Google application credentials and path to that JSON file. If you are using PowerShell, you can use environment variables, which I'll do for my example. I'll put $env colon that value equals to, and I need 
this one yes now it is set let us check terraform plan again so now authentication is successful and it is showing two resources to be added one is your bucket another should be your instance and that's correct two to add nothing to change nothing to destroy as usual terraform form if i can type it right terraform apply wait for your prompt put yes and it has started creating all the resources which i have defined now my bucket is complete let me go to bucket storage indeed my bucket is present now which was defined in the code yes the name is there and everything is complete now as you see let me go to compute instances or vm yes my terraform instance is present now so that's all for this demonstration the command and code will be shared in description section thanks for watching this video see you in the next video